Okay, hello. So, um, recently I've been feeling, <laughs> why am I walking around like that? I've been feeling really indecisive about my content and I finally think that I got it down. So, welcome to my houseplant collection. <laughs> it is the next day. I actually filmed the intro last night and then I realized the lighting and the aesthetics just weren't there. So, um, I decided to wait till this morning to finish filming. But I'm really excited because I feel like... Also, I just wanted to start this off. The reason I'm changing my content is because I feel like this is just what makes me happier. And... <laughs> my cat is sniffing my hand. Um, this is just what makes me happier. Um, makeup is still a part of who I am. Not a part of who I am, but makeup is still something I enjoy. So is fashion, but it's just not... Like, it's not... It's not my main focus. I feel like um, I take a lot of my inspiration from the content that I watch. And half of, literally everything I watch is just plants. Like it's not, I'll watch like Benji plant, I'll watch um, Wild Fern, I'll watch Becca de la Plants, I'll watch like, there's so many people that I watch that it's like, every time I get on YouTube, that's the only thing I watch. So it's like, I don't, I didn't, it didn't make sense to me why I was like focusing on other content because I don't really enjoy watching the content that I make. Like, I don't enjoy other people doing their makeup. Like, I do, but it's not like an everyday, like I watch every single day. So yeah, that's why I'm changing my content. So from now on, it's gonna be mostly plants. Um, I'll probably do a couple like outfit or whatever in the videos though. So if you guys don't enjoy plants, go ahead and, you know, leave. I don't know. <laughs> um, I really enjoy plants. I feel like this last year has really, like, been... Not even last year, like, since, like, since, like, freaking, what, September? Yeah, I felt like my plant collection has grown so much. I used to only have, oof, like, three plants. I started out with three plants. I started out with a Monstera. I started out with a um, Pothos and a Aglonema. Uh, I don't know which one it was called. It was a silver evergreen though. Silver evergreen, uh, Chinese evergreen. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, that's why, that's where we're at now. I'm changing my content and I'm excited to do this just because I feel like it's something that's gonna bring me more motivation to to post for you guys and also just like I feel like like yesterday I was talking to my boyfriend and I was just like so like I was like planning out my content pretty much and like I couldn't even sleep because of like how excited I was like I was like oh my god I'm gonna film this video and like it's just like it's really exciting for me because I feel like it's all I do like anyways I'm gonna start showing you guys my plants now so let's get into it Okay, so the lighting is a little bit bad, but I was hoping the sun would like be in. It's like nine right now, maybe even eight. So I think maybe the sun will come out. It was like peeking out for a second and I was like, oh, I gotta record. But yeah, I was hoping the sun would be out. It's not, that sucks, but I gotta keep it going. So, so this is mainly where I keep my plants, like on my desk next to my setup. And everything I also have some over there and some over there and then I do have my prop box back here but I'll show you guys that at the end of the video um, honestly I don't think I have any of the plants that I first bought I have actually I do it's my aglonema and that is currently in the prop box so I had to chop it so I did have a monstera but I killed one that's a new one I actually still have the leaf from the old one. I kept it because it was like, it had one fenestration and I freaking loved it. So yeah, that's, that's a new Monstera. I guess we'll start there. This Monstera got root rot and I promised myself I wasn't going to lose another one. So I'm currently trying to reroot it in water. I literally only bought it because of this leaf 
like this leaf is massive and like the fenestrations i just couldn't lose it i was like i'm not you know i'm not okay with losing this i think this is like three plants in here so yeah that's my monstera um i also did take or i'm currently trying to propagate these little baby ones that were in there also i'm not really getting anywhere with that we'll see in the updates um and then i have my string of hearts currently it is just one string it did get root rot there was like four bulbs in here um i lost two of them like completely lost them like they were just like empty sacks but yes i love this string of hearts <laughs> like the the way I displayed it too. This is another thing for me. I feel like when I first started, I was sort of, when I first started, I would sort of neglect my plants just because they didn't really bring any interest to me. And like, as I've gotten more into plants, I feel like the way you display your plants has a big, uh, the way you display your plants and how you display them I feel like carries a big role in whether you take care of it or not at least for me i feel like that's what works for me if i have a plant that i love to display like even down to the pot like the pot like i have my bamboo over there it's in like this mug with butts with butt it's in this mug in a that's like shaped like a butt i love that plant just because of just because of that like it fits it so well but yeah, I feel like the way I display my plants has a big, like, it just, it's a big thing. It's crucial for me to have a plant that's displayed well, um, or, like, in, like, even just in a spot that I love. Like, it just has to be something that took, like, took creativity to put together, um, like, my string of hearts. That's why I freaking love that plant, just because of that little pedestal it's on, and just this freaking container like i just love that plant just where it is like it gets the most sun by the way this is not a succulent don't treat it like a succulent actually it might be a succulent but like it's not like regular succulents that they can't be in the sun for too long i don't remember what it is but you just have to treat it like any other plant put it in a really bright spot that gets a lot of light not really bright but put it in a spot that gets a lot of light and i promise you you will get some big leaves i love that plant so much my cat is messing around on my carpet <sighs> um but yeah like even with this monstera oh my god i struggled like deciding to just put it in some water to have it reroot because i loved the pot it was in it was i still have it over there but i don't want to take it out right now Honestly, I'm just rambling too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> this plant and the pot it was in. So it was really sad to move it. But at least I'm not going to lose it now. I don't know what it is. I feel like I started out really bad with a Monstera as my first plant. Because I just got a whole bunch of root rot right off the bat. Same with Pothos. Like those two are, I feel like are the most... Well, Pothos mainly is the most like... The plant that's most likely to get root rot just because they're always forgotten about. Anyways, moving on. I used to have my alocasia black velvet in here, but I'm currently rerooting it. I'll talk about that in a second. So this is just empty for now, but this is what I mean by like displaying my plants as something that I love. Like it was just in like a pot like this, maybe even like a terracotta pot like that's like beige like that. Look, the sun is coming in. This is what I wanted. Um, but yeah, I had it in here. And, like, even, like, the time it took me to get this, by the way, if you're looking for a cloche like this, um, I got this at Hobby Lobby for, like, $12. Go when there's a sale. I promise you, you will not regret it. I was about to get another one, too. I have one over there that, that literally costed me more than this. That was 40 bucks at freaking Bath and Body Works. This was $11. 12 11 with some cents, so 12 Whatever. But yes, this is what I mean by displaying your plants in a way that you'll love. I freaking loved this alocasia black velvet. I was so sad that I had that I had to move it out because it's just like it's been struggling with some root rot for a while. Look at the roots though. Those were not there before and it has a little a little um 
anyways, I got sidetracked. Um, this is my Mikeins. Um, I'm currently kind of struggling with it. It's not... Sorry, I thought I saw some pest damage. But it's not really doing so hot right now. I don't even know if the leaves turned back. Oh, they did. I had um, a leaf. Oh, I think it was this one, actually. Um, this leaf was, like, so curled up because I didn't water it, which kind of sucks. But it looks like it's picking up. I'm really hoping it'll attach to this bowl. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping it'll attach to this pole. Um, I just recently made this. You guys will actually be seeing that pretty soon. Kind of spoiling it, but yeah, you guys will see this up pretty soon. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll just talk about this next. Um, next, we have my Silver Dragon and my Black Velvet. I'm really sad for my... Honestly, this plant, I never really cared for it. I still kind of don't. Um, I'm actually thinking about trading it soon. Because I feel like this could just bring so much more joy to someone else. But, I don't know. This is... I think I just haven't seen, like, a full... I don't even know what a silver dragon looked like. I know what the dragon scale looked like. I just didn't know what the silver dragon looked like. I just saw the silver dragon, like the dragon in the name, and I just snatched it. But I don't know. This is a plant that hasn't really brought me... Hasn't really brought me much joy yet. Like, I haven't really experienced getting a new leaf. None of that. Yeah, I haven't really experienced getting a new leaf. And when I did get a new leaf, it was literally, like, that big. It was really tiny. Um, and my alocasia black velvet, I'm so sad that it's in here. Like, like I really am. I freaking love this plant. I waited until the prices went down. Like, I had... Oh, my God. I literally went to, this, to the... I literally went to the plant store one week and it was like f upwards of $50 for this plant. And then I go the next, they had a sale or no wait, I think that was a different time. Yeah, it was a different time, but I go the next week and it's like 20 bucks. I was like, okay, I'm definitely getting this. Um, I don't know how the prices are everywhere else, but they're definitely starting to go down for these velvets. Um, every time I've been to the plant store afterwards, they've been like 20 bucks. So... Yeah, I actually just changed the water in this, but look at these roots. They're doing so good. Even the silver dragon. I thought these roots were going to, like, have to die off or something. But no. Oh, there's a dead root floating in there. You guys see that? Um, but yeah, these are doing so good. They're actually surprisingly rooting up really fast. This is my first time ever, like, rerooting something in water. Um, like even because these were the soil roots and I th like I honestly thought they were going to rot in here. So I was kind of scared to do this, but you know, they're rooting. So that's exciting. Now my newest plant, I actually did a repot of this like a couple days ago. It's my silver sword. I actually need to clean the leaves pretty soon. Um, ooh, what is that? Um, but yeah, I actually need to clean the leaves pretty soon. This one is still really new. It wasn't a four inch. And now it's in like a three something. I don't remember. But yes, I didn't even, the first time that I got this, this is my second one. The first time that I got this one, I didn't even know, like I saw the mature photos of it. And I didn't realize it was the same plant. Like, I did not realize until I saw... Um, until I saw wild ferns. Then I was like, oh, okay, that's this plant. And I just fell in love. Like, I really love the mature leaves. They're so pretty. And, yeah, I'm excited to see this grow. Um, I think... I'm thinking actually about chopping it. And putting it on a moss pole. But that's, like, future plans. Um, I don't want it to be this long and leggy. So I figured if I chopped it 
and then um put the two like put the two separate plants on one pole it would be more full and i would get bigger leaves so yes that is gonna happen very soon i think i can fit a moss pole in here so i need a moss pole i need like three moss poles as of right now even though i just did them oh. so yeah that's my most recent plant another plant that i got recently is this air plant my brother's girlfriend gave me this for my birthday this is my first air plant and ooh, i don't like this because it always gets stuck in here so i'll end up having to like push it through to get it out the bottom but yeah this is what it looks like um i haven't really researched it at all um i am starting to get this lower leaf to die off not starting to like if i'm trying to but this lower leaf is dying off um but yeah i don't i don't know i think it might actually need a watering soon i it's hard to tell when it needs a water like i'm just like roughly you know doing it oh the tips are browning off yeah it needs a water so i will do that in a second but yeah i got this for my birthday i freaking love the stand on this it is so cute oh next i got three plants for my birthday and i will show you the other one but i have a monstera dubia over here i love this plant um it's not really doing anything for me i did check the roots i actually did a repot um that was one of them that i put on a moss pole or a plank i think i called it a moss plank and yeah i don't i don't know i i was i was kind of getting scared because i was like it's not really doing anything for me it's just like it's not really attaching it's not really growing any new leaves so i think the plant was just trying to figure things out because the roots look great they look fine they look really healthy um we i think i did have like a tiny bit of root rot but nothing big um did i even water it that day oh my god i don't think i did So yeah, this might need a watering soon. I'm probably going to pull it out after this video. But yeah, that plant, I'm still waiting for it to do something. I'm like, are you going to like, are you going to size up? Are you going to size down? Like, I don't know. It's just not really doing anything. I did chop it. Um, and I have some propagating, but it like, it doesn't even have a new like node or anything not a new node but it doesn't have a new stem coming out or anything like it's just not doing anything so i don't know maybe it's just gathering intel like in its new position i don't freaking know okay next which i just did this last night i think i did this yesterday i think um i separated my kokodama so I have another plant up here and another plant down here. It's the same type of plant, but um, I have... When I first got this pothos, it was in a four inch. It was in a four inch pot. And my plan was to stake it. And then I got really inspired to do a kokodama. And here, yesterday, I actually decided to split it into two. Into two plants. So this is a smaller kokodama than before. And this is going to go on a stake so I can get those big, beautiful pothos leaves. Um, and this is a Marble Queen. <coughs> this is a Marble Queen pothos. I love it so much. Oh my god, I was so sad. The second pothos that I had was a Marble Queen and most of the leaves were white. It was so freaking pretty and I ended up killing it, sadly, to root rot. Um... Yeah, root rot, I've had a lot of experience with. Usually, I'll know it's root rot if the plant hasn't done anything. And if the leaves are starting to furl inwards, like I just already know it's root rot. Once the leaves start to furl inwards, like you, you're kind of, you're kind of done. So anytime that a plant is just like not doing anything, I will always check on it, smell it too. Like I can smell it. Um, especially now that I have some charcoal in my 
soil. My soil doesn't really smell like anything. So it's a lot easier now to tell when it's root rot. But yes, this one, I have two completely different plans for these two plants. This one is just going to stay on the Kokodama. This one is going to go on a stake when I get the pot size up. But for now, it's in this cute little bowl. I used to have my old uh, silver sword in here. Just like standing out the middle. It was so pretty. But yeah, now I have my pothos in here. And next, I freaking... This is like my favorite plant right now. Honestly, like I... I I love this plant and I did this was a plant that I didn't even expect myself to like like I the only reason I got this plant was because it reminded me of my boyfriend he loves the I remember he told me that he loves when the fenestrations on monsters are like not fully open and this just like is that like it's literally a monstera and so and I um and yeah I did not expect to like this plant as much as I do but this plant ugh, i just love this plant so much it hasn't given out on me it hasn't like done anything it's literally done nothing but grow this is its newest leaf which isn't the biggest leaf but isn't the smallest like it's not actually i think it's it's almost this size this size was this oh my god okay but yeah these this is the first leaf then that i have produced in my care this one i did unfurl but this one um or was it this one i don't know which one it was no it was this one yeah so i'm not doing better than the nursery this was the newest leaf when i got it and now this is the leaf that i produced it's around the same size this one still hasn't hardened off so i have high hopes that it'll get bigger um but yeah i love this plant when um I think I hadn't watered it for a while and I like lifted out the pot to check on the roots. I don't want to do it right now because there's a moss pole. I lifted up the pot to check the roots and like the roots were like coming out the bottom because some water will like puddle down here. I have some charcoal in there so it's not moldy at all. But yeah, I pulled it out and there was like three little white roots just like reaching down and that just made me so freaking happy. Like, it just tells me that the plant is doing good. It's honestly on its way to getting root bound. Like, I think it's like a couple weeks away from getting root bound even. So yeah, that's that. That's pretty much my whole desk as of right now. Um, I am not currently going to buy any plants. I am thinking about trading my silver dragon. And then, um, what else was I going to trade? Oh yeah, I also have some, I also have some dubias that I've been trying to get rooted. I'll show you guys those in a second. But one that I didn't go in depth with is the Kokodama. I love this thing. These are all examples of like, these are all examples of like displays. Like, this is a display, even this, like... I love this pot for this plant and then with the moss pole it's just perfect um same with the dubia i freaking love this pot my boyfriend got it for me for my birthday and i just i love this pot so much um and the plank too i love that plank like it's just like creating something that like makes me want to take care of it is like my top goal and this right here is at like the very top of that i just love taking care of this thing um, it's actually putting out a new leaf, so I'm really excited for that. And yeah, this is exciting. That's also a Marble Queen, so I have two Marble Queen pothos. Very fun. This is, I had already showed you guys this, just my monster propagation that I'm trying to get going. Now moving on to, ooh, what? is going on i think it needs a water yeah it does okay this plant is a little underwatered right now like to the point where the new leaf is curling in this is oh it's gonna die off it's okay it's an older leaf but this is my refidophora tetrasperma i love this plant i'm still looking Jeez, you're already dry okay yeah this plant needs a lot of 
Um, this plant needs water right now. But I was so excited when I saw um, in the when I was making the moss poles. You guys will see it soon, but in the, in my next video that I'm going to be posting, um, it was actually attaching to the moss pole. I was so excited to see that, and I'm so excited to see it attached to this one. Um, the newer leaves have been a little smaller. Um, I did used to have it in my windowsill. I think it was actually in that corner, or it was somewhere over here, somewhere on the windowsill. And I guess it just wasn't enough light for it. I feel like I actually it was like right there where my micans is, but like up on the, on the windowsill. It was like squished against the window. I just didn't like it there. So I moved it up to this shelf. So I moved it up to this shelf. It's right here where it gets that light. I think that's pretty good. Um, another plant that I have over here that I love so much. I love the color on this. This is like the perfect plant. Like, oh, I just love it. My boyfriend got me this for my birthday. Um, I'm actually thinking about chopping it at the node on both of them and propping it, maybe even making another plant because I did have a growth, like a little tiny hair sprouting up, but I don't know what I did. It died off. I actually, I do know what I did. My cat dropped this and I got soil like all on that. So yeah, that kind of smushed it down. Um... But yeah, it hasn't really done anything. Still, I think feeling out. I don't know. It just hasn't really done anything. It has lost a lot of leaves. Like, I want to say like three. Um, But most of them were to dropping and stuff like that. So yes, this was also a birthday plant. This is a uh, baby rubber plant. And now moving over here. This is the butt mug that i was talking about my bamboo is in um uh, my aunt actually gave me this bamboo when she heard i was getting into the plants and i used to have it over there where like literally right there um and it started burning i think i'm actually gonna need to find a new spot for it because i think i think it just gets too much light here it's not really optimal for it so i actually might move it over to that corner maybe I don't think that would be bad. Just somewhere away from the light. I also thought about putting it somewhere on here, but there's like no room for it there. So, but yes. Next, I have this Iwonima Silverado, which is actually, I got so scared for this plant. Like, I honestly thought that it wasn't doing anything for me anymore. I thought it got root rot. I checked the roots, it was fine. But I've seen some other people say that their Aglonemas are really slow growers. Which I hadn't really experienced that with my other one. My other one was always popping out new growth. So I don't know what it is, but it is giving me a new leaf. And I'm hoping that it's like massive. This was the this was a new leaf that was just unfurling when I barely got it. So this is like the new this is like the leaf. This is like my labor. The fruits of my labor coming in. And this is the fruits of the nursery's labor coming in. This is the first leaf that's coming in, in my care. I'm very excited for it. And next, we have another Kokodama. I used to have this over where my pothos was, but I just, I'm pretty sure this is sun, I don't remember what this is, sun, sun bleached. And so I'm moving it away. It's sort of in the shade. You know, it's very far away from the light. So, I'm hoping that the new leaf isn't as sun bleached. Um, yeah, I don't know. I also did a video of this. You guys will see that up soon on how to make those. And I think that's it. So, okay, so here it is. I've tried to like label where I have things um, just to make it easier. The one that doesn't have um, labels are over here. But yes. I'm going to start off. I haven't checked on these in a while, so. Is that mold? 
I think that's mold. I think I'm gonna do some TLC to this later. Look at that little root. I love how they're so furry, like, like that. <laughs> my cat's just as interested in it. Also, I'm sorry, my Coke is like bubbling right next to you guys. But yeah, so I have a whole bunch of string of hearts that I'm trying to propagate just to get some more. And then I have my Monstera Dubias. Which have not been doing much. If you guys have any tips on what I can do to get these to root. I tried perlite. Perlite didn't work. I stuck it in spag. Um, And I just recently stuck it in sphagnum. So I'm not. I'm not quite sure how well. These do. I did see a couple other videos of like people rooting it in sphagnum and perlite but i don't know why these just aren't giving in i think i need to stick some charcoal in here okay and then i have some philodendron micans which also aren't really rooting or doing anything um yeah i don't know what to really do for these Ooh, maybe that's one i think this one might be rooting because i also tried perlite with this i think I think that's a growth point. Sorry for you to see. I think that's a growth point. But I'm not sure. No, it wasn't. Okay. So yeah, I just have I think I have four. But they aren't. Okay, that's a growth point. We got something going on. No roots yet though. Which, I mean, I guess is okay for now. As long as there's a growth point. Makes me excited. Okay. So, yeah. I kind of have, like, these gravestone type of things. Um, I just read the date of when I did them. This one has two batches. I don't even know what that is. Oh. Yeah. So, I don't really care about the dates. It's just for, like, timeline-wise. I know around when and how long they've been in here for i'm gonna show these last these are the ones i'm really excited for but i also have my the sun coming in oh my god there's a is that mold that's mold oh my god yeah see there's another one in here this one's doing great like look at those roots Maybe not that one. I don't know why that one looks clear. But yeah, overall doing pretty good. I also have a string of hearts bulb in here. Um, it doesn't really have any roots. So I'm just waiting on that. I think I'm going to fix this up right now. Because there's a lot of mold. And mold is just not fun. So I will be... <coughs> oh no, wait, what am I seeing? So yeah, I'm going to be fixing this up at another time. I don't want any mold. <gasps> that sucks because this one was the one with the growth point. So yeah, I'm going to figure that out later. Okay, now moving on. To, I'm going to take these out. The reason why these are in a different container is because I'm doing the shallow bowl method. I did peelies yesterday. Um, I saw the unplant parenthood. Uh talk about her bulbs and how she gets them to root faster when they're peeled like this so i peeled them they they did they were already sprouting and they still are which makes me so excited i actually think i could take out a little bit of this water but yeah i peeled them back but look at them they're starting to sprout my camera will focus starting to sprout so yes these are like my babies right now i'm like really excited for these um and yeah that's pretty much it for my prop box i am thinking about cutting up my pothos soon so you might see some pothos in here i know that pothos somewhat help um like other plants i've like they hurt they release like a hormone or something i don't know but i've heard plenty of people say that 
if you're propagating something to chop off a puzzle and put it in there with it. And yeah, so that's it for my prop box. So that is my houseplant collection. Um, <laughs> is I don't think it's I don't think it's that big. Um, I definitely have some wish list plants that I'm planning on getting soon. Like I'm not planning on it, but like it's in the back of my mind. Um, I'm really looking to get an El Choco Red. Um, also a Melanochrysum. I saw. Oh my God, who's did I see? I don't remember her name. But um, I saw someone's video on their melanochrysum and the leaves are just so freaking pretty. I have, I feel like I've been having a thing for velvety leaves lately. Again, both of my wishlist plants are both velvet leaves. Um, the El Choco Red. Um, I think everyone after they saw Wild Ferns was just like, everyone wanted one. And that's me right now. Like I'm like searching for an El Choco Red. But I'm hoping to trade for it. Um, I do have some propagations in the works for it. And it's very exciting. Who knows? But yeah, right now I'm just going to water my plants. Um, the ones that need watering. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really excited for my newer content. I feel like it's just something that I'm going to enjoy a lot more. And therefore it's going to reflect in the content. So yeah, stick around for that. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, anything. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys have any questions or like, um, if you guys have any questions or comments about the plants, let me know down below. Um, if you guys have any questions about root rot also, I'm like a root rot expert now. Like I know what to do, what to stop it. Like <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, also, Speaking of root rot, I thought I was an underwater, or I thought it was an overwater. Turns out I'm not. I'm an underwater. I hate saying that underwater. -er. But yeah, I underwater most of my plants, which causes me to get root rot. I need to stop doing that. Um, the one plant also that has been very resilient with my underwatering is my dubia, which I was really surprised. Like I thought. I thought it would have been more sensitive, but again, it is a Monstera. But yeah, that's that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching again. Sorry, sorry for how many times I rambled. I feel like this video is gonna be a lot longer than it needs to be. But yeah, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it.